when we leave this room, you'll follow us. Then, then that's like vlog activates. Because Wait, sorry, what? Vlog? Vlo activate vlog. I haven't got, I have got my pass. Right. Let me get Nick Cook. Come on, Nick. Good morning. It is, is it really echoey? Quite echoey. Good morning. Today is the BT Sport Industry Awards Judging Day. Agency of the Year. Really excited. We need to impress the judges in the office over a short amount of time. So this is really exciting. So what we've come up with is something a bit creative. We can start talking about it today because this vlog goes out tomorrow, Friday. So what we're going to do is bring the judges up. The lifts are going to be held by these lovely orange goats. And then me, Aaron and Nick, as per the start of this company only three and a half years ago, greet the judges and then bring them into the office. We will leave Nick Cook here, probably actually there, because the judges will come back through that way. Hello. Um, but what they'll find as they walk through here is no one is going to be in the office. Everybody else in the shortlist will go for a huge entrance. We're going to go for the opposite. We're going to go for a dead office, exactly the same as how Aaron, Nick and I walked into an office space three and a half years ago and decided to build this company to what it is now. We have this lovely mural that was designed as we moved into this office. Up here, Sport Lobster, that's the start of the journey. Here are the three people involved in that journey, Harry, Nick, Aaron. Hello then. Bang, Goat is born, August 2015. We hire our first employee in 256 Old Street. His name is Frankie Hobbs. We moved to an office in June 2016 with six people in Shoreditch High Street. Continue to run some great sport campaigns, but starting to diversify into other mediums too. And at this point, December 2016 here, the BT Sport Industry Young Agency of the Year, only 12 months after conception. 21 staff, September 2017, only five months after winning Young Agency of the Year. Massive clients, we signed Nico Rosberg, literally the night after the BT Sport Industry Awards where he picked up the Lifetime Achievement Award. Then the big one, Formula E came in December 2017. Great client for us, really, really exciting and continues to be a great supporter uh, of our work with them um, for the last couple of years. Other huge sport clients we've been working with, England and Wales Cricket World Cup. Lidl for their FA partnership. Football manager for their game launches. Then we'll move forward uh, down the completely empty office. And we'll go into meeting room A. Meeting room A is about the same square footage um, in terms of surface area as the office we won Young Agency of the Year in two years ago. So we'll be able to get all 12 people in here. It's gonna be cramped. We'll show what uh, has been put together by um, the video team with awesome 90 second cut of our year in sport and working in sport. Show a bit of the cut. Trust me, is the skyline sliced up into pieces and broken steel and mesh? Or is the progress a process that's a natural people quest? Metal and the workings dark and lurking in my mind. Branded neon red and blue flashes, the view from the flats is nice. Okay, so moving out of here, as we talk a bit about why sport is so ingrained into us, why we love sport, why it's you know also becoming so central to lifestyle and lifestyle brands and how sport brands are trying to be lifestyle brands, how athletes are trying to be entrepreneurs, all these different things that we're starting to discover in the social media world. At this point, we will have staff start to trickle into the office from downstairs where they've been hiding. This is <laughs> at the same rate that we hired them. So over the course of the next 20 minutes from when we leave that room to when we're sat in here, this office will hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> fill up. And the vibe will go from dead silence, completely empty office, to what is exactly how it is every day. Incredibly exciting, huge energy, noise, commotion, people walking around, people on phone calls, people doing stuff with each other. That's the excitement we need to get across. And the juxtaposition of a completely silent office to one of huge energy and excitement will really, really show off where this company has come from, where it's going and what it is right now. So anyway, we'll do a bit of a 10 minute talk about why we think we're worthy winners of Agency of the Year at the BT Sport Industry Awards and what we're doing, what we're going into doing next year, all the exciting things that make 
go, go. Then we spin round into what is now a makeshift staff room come boardroom hybrid. We have selected six of our staff from junior to senior uh, to talk about six of our top sport campaigns over the course of the year. Then we'll spin back over here after four minutes on the clock with those people to this screen where we've got the best Formula E cut-up video of our season last year we could possibly build. It's a flagship sport campaign of last year, that's why we're focusing on it here. We will stand there, talk for maybe six seconds about why Formula E is such a special client for us and how we're growing together sport and agency. It, and it kind of mirrors the journey. Then we'll head back out into a busy, busy office, of which I really hope is completely full. Everyone's moving around, the buzz is great. Uh, as a group, we've been asked to put five minutes aside in the 40 minutes on the clock. Uh, to allow them to ask as many questions as they want about the office, the culture, the clients, the growth, the numbers, whatever they want. We'll do it here, right in front of bird shit, right in front of the amazing view that we've got here in Finsbury Square. And then we head back to Nick Cook to say goodbye to what hopefully is going to be a seamless BT Sport Agency of the Year judging day. Do you know when Aaron's um, um, coming in? My real problem is that Aaron is at a meeting, at the, literally the other side of London. That started at nine o'clock, it's now 9.40. The judges arrive at, I think, 11.15. I'm still not 100% sure if he's gonna make it. I'm not thinking about it. It could be a problem. Have you got a backup plan no. if? No. If he's not there after 15 minutes, I've got a real fucking problem. Jeopardy. Arrival expected before 11.30, I've been told the traffic is bad. Oh really? It's not what I wanted to hear. Is that where you have a stress ball? <laughs> All hands to the pump. Not quite sure what the pump is. 11 o'clock, 20 minutes to go. Everybody out. High energy when you come back in. I feel ready, I've revised. <laughs> the hardest part for me is to just fill four minutes because at the moment I'm pretty sure I can easily fill 20. They're on the way out, the eagle has landed. Couldn't be more excited. Oh if you're not first, you're last. Come on. Bye. There's a family feel to this. Once you've gone above and beyond for us as an agency, you're very much within that ecosystem. You feel, feel ownership of it, you've got power, you've got control, we're not micromanaging these people. So you've got the ability as a 22, 23 year old here, if you're super smart and really want to do it, to do some stuff that maybe other businesses just wouldn't give you the opportunity to. Well done, everyone. Well done. Thank you. A little buzz? Yeah. Off that? Yeah. I hope you win. Me too.